often hear this excuse, I'm Hearthstark, but it's only because of Smurfs. But how much truth is there to that? Well, in today's video, I gathered nine lap players and tossed in one champion Smurf. Will you be able to guess who the Smurf is? I'll be revealing who the champ is at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But no cheating, make sure you guys guess and comment below who you think the Smurf is. All right, here we go with round number one, and let's see if any of you guys are able to actually guess who the Smurf is. I'm really excited to see if anyone's going to be able to guess who the Smurf is here. But starting off on coastline, that's going to be map number one, and it looks like the orange team is going to be going Kuka first. And wow, they with a grenade kill onto Sneeze right off the bat. That's going to be a kill for the blue team, and Liston's going to instantly refrag though, and Mike's going to be taken down, so your Ash is now gone. Doka be called. It's going to come out from Granola. And it looks like just an aggressive rush in it as well. And wow, I don't know if he knows it, but Hero is just sitting right there on this desk or this chair. But Sneeze is going to get a double kill with Thorn Traps while Granola gets a kill onto World. I'm not even sure what is happening right now. Shotgun, a grenade kill into Liston. 2v2 now. Nandos and Power versus Bay and Shotgun. Who is going to win? Two minutes left on the clock. The attack is in a pretty good position right now. A with no more grenades, but Shotgun might have one left to his name. Yeah, he does, and he's going to be using that right now to try to get this nade kill onto power, and I don't think he knows it, and that's going to be an easy nade kill for Shotgun, who's going to walk straight into sight. He's going for the other kill onto Nandos, who's going to get a kill onto Bay. 1v1 now. Diffuser in hand. Shotgun could try to plant behind the cover of these Azamis. The swing from the hallway is going to come out from Nandos. No shots are going to hit from either side. Luckily for Nandos, he's going to have those Thunderbirds to play around. But Shotgun's going to use the time to plant. Plant is surely going to go down now. So Nandos is going to try to stop Shotgun from pushing out of Hookah. 35 seconds left for Nandos to make a move. Shotgun's just going to be holding behind the Azamis. Nandos making an aggressive push up. Trying to push the rotate now. Going back and forth. And he's finally going to win the gunfight. Orange team going to win round number one. Taking a look at the scoreboard as well. Shotgun on top for the blue team. 2-1. and one. Bay and Granola right behind. For the orange team. Nandos 2-0. and oh. Sneeze right behind. Two Thorn Trap kills. Keep that in mind. From the grave. With Liston getting a frag as well. Interesting. Interesting. Let Make sure you guys are commenting down below who you think the smurf is going to be. Looks like we're going to see a spawn peak coming out from Nandos here. I'm interested to see if he's actually going to get any kills with this. It looks like... None of the attackers are going to be spawning over by Ruins. It looks like they're all mostly spawning poolside, actually. And we're actually going to see a Blitz come out from Sound. So I wonder if we're going to see some form of a Rush right now. Shotgun actually also bringing the shield here on Blitz. And they're going to be pushing in. And Sneeze is going to be caught in the crossfire. He's going to get a kill onto Sound. So, wow, another kill onto Shotgun as well. So that's going to be the two shield players going down very quickly. And Bay with the one tap on the Nandos. This is falling apart. Very quickly there for Hernandos. He's going to get taken out inside of uh, Sunrise immediately. And so is Sneeze as Bay just walks in and takes out two. That's going to leave both of these teams in a 3v3 now. Power inside of Kitchen. Trying to defend against Bay who's pushing in through Sunrise. Granola in through Hookah now. And looks like Bay might actually get another kill. On to Hero who's going to be down through that wall. I'm not even sure actually how that kill came to be. Liston's going to be inside of Courtyard, trying to stop the push onto the kitchen door, but so far is not going to be successful in doing so. And he's going to be leaving his teammate all alone on site, but he's going to be doing what he can as Power takes out Bay 2v2 now. And Liston's going to come back to the site and try to help his teammate out now. Granola rotating over to that kitchen window and Mike on the kitchen door, and he's going to get a kill into Power. Great shots by him, but... That's going to leave Liston now in a 1v2. And Granola hops in the window and takes him out. Now, game is all tied up. 1-1. One one. I think this is like the perfect area to like really demonstrate how hard it can be to see if someone is smurfing or not. Because you're in that like gold to plat area where people are starting to like really learn mechanics. And they have like the basic fundamental like game knowledge. So, I feel like it's very interesting to watch this lobby and... You might be looking at someone like, wow, they can they can control recoil pretty good. Or, oh, that was kind of a nice shot. Or, oh, he had a one tap. But then it's like, you look at someone else playing, and you're like, well, they're not too bad either. So I feel like this is kind of the rank where it starts to become very difficult to figure out who's actually smurfing. So make sure you guys are putting your guesses down below in the comments. I'm very interested to see if you guys are going to guess who it is. 
Okay, so you don't see this try every day, but Granola is going to be repelling up to the I don't know, AC building out here, trying to get an angle with glass into the window. And it looks like he's going to be instantly seeing Smoke, who's just now completely stuck behind this shield as Granola is going to be holding him down from that AC unit. Shotgun going to be opening up the bathroom hatch now, trying to make a push into bathroom. Granola still holding down this angle. And it looks like we're going to see a little bit of a standstill, at least for now. Mike trying to open up that front door, and that's going to push Nando's back off the white stairs. May going to be repelling into the VIP balcony, and Mike's going to be going for that Goku be call now. So we could be seeing a push here as Shotgun is now Z-pinging people who are just prone on a rotate, apparently. Bay is potentially going to be trying to take advantage of that. Of these Dokubi and Lion calls as he's going to push in and oh a critical mistake from Hero. He's going to try to pick up a smoke grenade that he whiffed and instead the shield's going to come down and block his cover and that's a free kill for Bay. Power and Shotgun though are going to trade and I don't know if Bay knows it but Sneeze is on the flank right now as Cav. This could be bad. They're both holding the same angle. Who is going to get the first shot off? It's going to be Bay who takes out Sneeze now and Granola finally getting off of that AC building, trying to push in and get a frag. Sound now planting the diffuser. Where are the defense? Nandos and Listen both holding effectively the same angle. They're going to get a down and kill onto Mike, but the bomb has now been planted. Granola going to take about half of his HP, but Sound is going to take the full HP of Nandos now. And Granola was able, or Listen was able to kill Bay, but not before Sa or Granola was able to get the final kill here. Very confusing. Very, very confusing. I can hardly keep up. I, I'm having a long day. I apologize, guys. <laughs> Interesting operator choice coming out from Shotgun here. He's actually going to be trying to go Echo with the Shotgun, as his name implies. I'm interested to see how that is going to work. You don't often see Echo being played in the higher ranks, and you don't often see the Shotgun being played, but maybe he knows something that we do not. And he also is one of the best performing players so far for the blue team. Looks like Bay might be trying to go for a C4 spawn peak here as he's going to be ripping that just at the mud door and we'll see if any of the attackers look prime go into it. Nope. C4 went out and no C4 kill for Bay, but he will get the shots onto power. So the Osa player for the orange team is going to be taken out fairly quickly and that could be a problem as it looks like they were going for some sort of ying execute here, but another kill coming out for the blue team sound going to be able to pick that up sneeze goes down he was just trying to push in through service now 5v3 are the attack going to be able to pull this one back they still do have that yang they've got that wild card play they could try to pull something off with that listen though might be getting into some trouble here with sound who's just inside of security and i'm not sure that listen even drones him out no he runs in without even bothering to check the right hand side and Sound will take him out. The second kill for him on this round. And looks like Bay is trying to go for this kill onto Nando's, who's all the way out on the ruins right now with Cali. World going to be dropping down from the hookah bow, trying to push into hookah. And that Cali shot goes off and it'll down Bay, but it's not enough to kill him just yet. And fortunately for him, he'll be able to go and get those Thunderbirds and heal right back up. Nando's definitely not very happy about that. And he's going to be trying to rotate off of the ruins now and get a closer angle. Granola trying to stop that from happening, but Nandos is going to down him in the process. But Bay, who's now back to full HP, is going to take out World. So that's going to be a 1v5 now for Nandos, who's placing Claymores in the ruins. He is setting up for the apocalypse right now, going back up to the room. It's just waiting for people to peek, and looks like Echo is going to be the first one to do so on this big window. But no, it's going to be Sound, I believe, getting three kills on the rounds. A, sp a pistol kill if anything of anything all the way into the ruins great shots by him and that's going to be the blue team winning now three to one taking a look at the scoreboard you've got bay going eight and three definitely a standout player for the lobby here but looking at the orange team two in three for the first place player on the orange team not as good looking at the second place you do have sneeze four and four but make sure you guys are putting your guesses down below in the comments and uh hopefully you don't get tripped up oh no it looks like listen has a z ping right now on sound sound just not using his visual scanner and it looks like it's about to cost him as the attack is setting up a play here to take him out and that's exactly what's going to happen sneeze is going to walk in and take him out immediately and 
May also is going to go down as well. So the defense is not starting off too great here as they're already down two members and they're looking to be they're looking to be down another as sneeze and world are taking massive amounts of damage right now power though is going to try to level things out and he's going to grab a kill or excuse me he's going to be trying to get a kill onto the the blue team and make things a 5v2 but the blue team is going to be fighting back now granola and mike a kill for each of them and they're going to be trying to level things out 2v3 now they still need to get another kill to make things even and granola is going to do just that taking out listen on the bathroom great shots by him and he's going to be able to open up that goyo as well so power is going or uh, excuse me world is going to go ahead and rotate off of that door now power though sneaking in through the main lobby i'm not sure if the defense knows about this just yet but here come the yings and ying is going to be taken out by granola but does he know that power is inside of the bathroom he doesn't the first kill onto the alibi both players on about one hp who is going to come out on top it's going to be power who wins it saving his team from losing the map here three to two now wow great shots by power another quick little look at the scoreboard here Bay still on top eight and four granola though getting a bunch of kills last round bringing him to five and two as for the orange team you've got sneeze on top five and five power in second place five and four make sure you guys are commenting down below who you think the champ is Bay with the same spawn peak that he's been doing every single round now he's gonna get punished world is gonna take him out not before taking about half of his hp though sound in a very interesting spot here is warden not really sure what that is sneeze gonna be opening up this hatch and potentially trying to push down through the bathroom hatch the defense going to be going penthouse theater right now shotgun's trying to do some late sight setup here and it looks like there's not really a defined push coming out from the orange team yet we've got people all over the place listen looks like he could be primed to get a kill onto someone who is just sitting inside of yeah it's just this kid who's sitting inside of vip this could potentially be a free kill but it looks like actually instead sneeze is going to be the one trying to take advantage of that but he won't be able to get the kill as mike stops making the reinforcement turns around and just kills him after sneeze drops the bathroom hatch i'm not even sure how that happened i wish we were able to see that but sneeze being taken out now and that's going to make things a 4v4 listen and mike or uh nando's excuse me trying to push up to uh the top floor it looks like potentially mike just sitting inside of theater kind of a standstill right now as there's only a minute and 30 seconds left the attack is going to need to try to speed things up Nando's looking to do exactly that creeping up through the white stairs right now and a c4 is going to come out from sound but it's not going to hit how we're going to replace that shield down now but granola with a wall bank kill into list and the lion player going to go down granola though able to refrag onto mike and he's going for a second onto the warden sound going to walk away and try to push top white now and oh the shotgun shot's gonna miss and nando's will take him out shotgun gonna get taken out himself and wow world with two big kills on a shotgun and granola bringing things to three three now wow what a round all right, we're gonna see blitz being taken out from power and i want to see how exactly he plans to push in here granola already taking a fair amount of damage i'm not even exactly sure how excuse me i believe from nando's who was uh potentially opening up outside of that wall uh vip i actually cannot tell but nevertheless granola is going to be about half hp now listen just leaving spawn so it's gonna be a late push from him sneeze already inside of kitchen looks like he's gonna be trying to push up with uh nando's here bay is going to be on about 25 30 hp as power is playing the hookah balcony with a blitz and just adsing and doing massive amounts of damage i'm not even sure what i'm watching at this point right now to be honest with you guys shotgun back on that echo getting some information and i actually just realized that but granola's actually got the boss g so might be seeing some boss g one taps here soon but sneeze Trying to get the first kill of the rounds onto Mike. And he's going to be trying to push up through the, the cool vibe stairs now. Sound, though, getting a kill for himself onto World. So that's going to bring things to a even 4v4. But, wow, it's power outside. Now pushing inside to the site. Going to be getting a kill onto uh, Sound. And Bay going to be getting that refrag onto Sneeze. And the Thorn Trap just not heard by power. And that'll take him out. Sound able to get that kill from the grave. Nando's now taking control of luggage right now along with Liston and they're going to be trying to push in 
to the site right now but granola on the flank with the boss g we will see it the boss g kill comes out and granola is going to be going for the second kill of the rounds for himself but listen with the amaru shotgun of all things is going to take him out bay now with the shotgun himself trying to get the long angle kill but listen all the way from luggage is going to get that kill as bay was only one hp and this round is suddenly going in the favor of orange team shotgun now trying to see if he can get any sort of angles onto Liston, but so far he is not going to be able to. Now the defense does have Maestro Cams and Echo Drones, so they should be in a pretty good spot here to at least get information on where Liston is at. But the swing comes out, a lot of damage onto both players, but it looks like Shotgun comes out a little bit on top, but it won't matter as Liston swings the rotate and he gets the kill on the Shotgun, and that's going to be match point for the first time here for Orange Team. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video, it would mean a lot to me if you guys were able to subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on, and comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have. It really does help me out here. Alright, really quickly before this round continues, taking a look at the scoreboard. Bay on top for the blue team, 9 and 6. Granola, second place, 7 and 4. As for the orange team, Sneeze on top there, 6 and 7. And Power, second place, 7 and 5. So make sure you guys are still remembering to put down your guesses in the comments. But with that being said, Nandos starting off this round with a kill onto Granola. Ash going to be taken out. Not a great start whatsoever for the blue team. And Bay trying to make it a second kill, but it's not going to happen. He does a lot of damage, but that's all he's going to be able to do. Power rotates back to site and is now going to be getting healed. Mike with a great kill onto Sneeze. So the top player for the orange team falling within the first minute. Nandos, though, making it a point to refrag, and he's going to take out Mike right away. Pally shots going off and she's going to rotate now as a sniper on a close quarters balcony is not the best positioning. Bay still playing on top of the ruins as Blackbeard with that suppressed DMR trying to get an angle. But it looks like Liston might be going into blue bar to try and counter this and Bay is already well aware of that trying to pre-fire. Luckily for power he was able to get back up to around full HP rotating back to site now and Shotgun's going to, or excuse me, uh, Callie's going to destroy that deployable shield in sight, making things a little bit easier for them to push in now, but it's still going to be an uneven 3v4, so Sound hopefully is able to get a kill here soon to make things a little bit more even, doing his best to take out World's positioning. This Azami shot is honestly not that bad if you had a couple ADSs or some OMIs, but we'll see how Sound is able to handle this. Bay getting a kill onto Nando's. Great shot by him. Looks like Shotgun's going to be trying to push in from below. But Liston is already down here. And he's going to get that kill onto Shotgun. And he also has the Diffuser. Bay is going to be forced to hop straight in through Blue Bar Window. And try to secure this Diffuser as well. But wow, that's going to be a great pre-fire from Liston. Who gets the kill into Bay. And a C4 kill onto... I'm not even sure who it was at the end there. But that's going to be GG's as the Orange team takes it. Taking a look at the scoreboard for this final map. Bay on top, 10 and 7. Second place, you have Granola going 7 and 5. As for the orange team, you're going to have Sneeze, 6 and 8 on top. And Power, second place, 8 and 5 on second place. So make sure you guys drop down your guesses in the comments below. Very interested to see who you guys think it is. Alrighty, guys. So if you guys made it to this far in the video, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, as I post videos like this constantly every single day. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn notifications on so you're always up to date on these new videos. But with that being said, drum roll, please. The two champs, the two Smurf champs were Bay and Sneeze. That's right, Bay and Sneeze. I had one champ Smurf on each team. And the reason I did this was I wanted to tell you guys that there was only one champ Smurf in the lobby. That way, if you had any assumptions that someone was Smurfing, you would only be looking at that one person. And the reason I did this is because oftentimes when I'm playing ranked with my friends or I've just seen this out and about, sometimes somebody will be like, oh, I think this guy's cheating. And then anything that that one person does the entire rest of the game is sus to you no matter what it is so my goal with this was to add in two different champ players and tell you guys that there was only one that way whoever you were suspicious of became so much more suspicious and you looked at them so much differently than everybody else and i feel like that's what a lot of low-ranking players do when it comes to them saying people are smurfing 
what will happen is somebody gets destroyed they get smoked and then they'll go in the comments and they'll say oh well he's smurfing he's smurfing a lot of the time they're not even smurfing and that's not to discredit anybody who goes against actual smurfs smurfs are a definite problem but i did just kind of want to make this video and highlight how maybe the smurfs aren't as bad as a lot of you think but i do also want to make it clear that i'm not supporting or condoning any sort of smurfing or any sort of that uh, behavior in this video just wanted to do a cool little custom game video for fun so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did remember to like comment subscribe all that good stuff thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video